Oh hi, I didn't see you there. My name is Bliss Foster and today we are going to be talking about and reviewing the Maison Martin Margiela books. A mint condition copy of this one costs $700. That's so insane, why? Maison Martin Margiela is a brand that induces an obsessive tendency with people. I don't think it's hard to imagine that that has definitely happened to me since I am creating a 60 plus part series about the brand. But even beyond that, when I didn't have a YouTube channel at all back in like 2013, 14, 15, I spent a enormous amount of my discretionary time poring over images of the Maison, trying to figure out the mystery behind these clothes. Because that's what it looks like, right? Especially the beautiful photography that surrounds this brand, there seems like there's something to unlock behind this, that there's a mystery waiting to be uncovered. And anybody who has fallen into that black hole on the internet, searching around on Tumblr and Pinterest looking for old pictures from the brand, you've probably come across the fact that there are lots of books about Maison Martin Margiela. And if you've done any more digging into that, you've probably found out that a lot of them are exorbitantly expensive. So today, since I have recently completed the collection of all of the actual official Maison Martin Margiela books. I wanted to do a quick review of everything so that we can kind of better understand which ones are worth paying the money for and which ones are just okay. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Bliss. I run a channel about storytelling and fashion. And if you, like me, are very obsessed with Martin Margiela's work, I have a whole series that we are now 16 episodes into whereby I go through every single runway show in order from beginning to the end of when Martin Margiela was actually at the house, exploring all of the nuances and the storytelling look by look and sometimes individual piece by individual piece. I apply the same process to lots of other designers and runway shows, but the Martin Margiela series is one that I I am particularly passionate about and I would really appreciate if you checked it out. Also, if you really like this content, you should support it on Patreon. The Margiela episodes in particular have extended versions for many of them and those extended versions are only available on the Patreon. You also get to join the Discord group which is the single best fashion community I've ever been a part of on the internet. Let's look at some books. We're gonna start with what I consider to be the single best picture-based fashion book that has ever been created, or at least the best one I've ever come across. And that is the Margiela 20th Anniversary Women's Collections book. Without this book, the Margiela series that I create literally wouldn't be possible. And I strongly encourage anyone who is into the brand to find a way to get a hold of this book. Fortunately, it's incredibly cheap, especially considering that it's a fashion book. I've seen these available for $30 before. Essentially what this book does is it goes collection by collection and has a page to two pages of very in-depth explanation for the concept and the execution of each individual runway show. They have lots of specific examples of the way that certain garments tell the story of the concept that they were going with that season. Margiela was directly involved with the exhibition and he gave a lot of the information about the specific looks and collections himself. And so we must assume that to some degree, this is kind of an indirect quote, voice of Margiela telling us about these things. I, I don't know how to recommend this book enough. It, it literally is the single best one that Margiela has ever come out with. It is worth getting, go buy it. Book number two, The Maison Martin Margiela Book by Rizzoli. This book is another one that is perfect for what it's trying to do. This is essentially a picture book. It's over 350 pages that are mostly very high quality photographs of the Maison's history while Martin was there. It's gorgeous. It also includes some articles and some essays by people kind of pontificating about the Maison. Those articles are great, but for the most part, if you're getting this book, you're getting it for the pictures. This book I've almost completely torn apart because I've been scanning it in for the Margiela series. I promise when this book comes, it is beautifully and very securely bound. It's another one that can usually be found for under 50 bucks. If you really love fashion coffee table books, this one is beautifully bound and the content of it is the best one that's out there. Book number three, Margiela. The Hermes Years. This is the third of the trinity of Margiela books that are bigger and more accessibly priced. I mean, it only focuses on Margiela's time at Hermes, but the level of high quality written content that's in this book is immeasurable. The biggest sin that fashion writing can commit, in my opinion, is not being specific. Too often when I am reading a fashion book, I will shake the book and say aloud, can you please give me a specific example of what you mean by that? You will never have a problem with that in this book. Pretty much every statement that the writer Kat Debo makes in this book, she backs up with very specific examples of particular garments that execute the concept she's talking about. This is another one where you can probably find it used for less than 50 bucks. Okay, so this is probably the reason why you clicked on this video. We're now going to get into some of the books that 
can be extremely expensive to buy online. I considered it a priority to buy them when I found a good price on them because I am doing this massive scale project on Margiela. Let's begin with Mesa Martin Margiela Street Magazine Volumes 1 and 2. You can kind of think of this book as sort of a condensed version of the Margiela Women's Collections book. It gives brief descriptions of each collection in order and it has some photography that's exclusive to this edition. Occasionally I'll come across a few details in here that weren't in the Women's Collections book and I end up using those in episodes. They're very valuable to me, but I wouldn't say that the summaries are as good or better than the women's collections book in general. So unless you're doing a massive academic style project on Margiela, this one probably shouldn't be the first one that you look into. But of course, it's great. I really like having it. Book number five, A Magazine Curated by Maison Martin Margiela. This is a really unusual case. So this used to be a super valuable and hard to find book. It's the first issue of a magazine that is literally called, like the name of the magazine is a magazine curated by. And then every issue they get a different designer to create the entire magazine for them. They just give them carte blanche control over absolutely everything in the magazine, including the advertisements, and they just let them go crazy. Maison Martin Margiela was selected to be the first brand that curated the issue. And they recently did a reprint of this magazine, which is the one that I actually own. It is available for $35, and if you're just a fan of the brand, this is maybe the coolest one that you can get. The most information heavy one that you can get is the first one that we talked about, the Women's Collections book, but the A Magazine issue is so much fun. Also, with the re-edition, you get an exclusive print, one of five prints that comes with it, and that's mine. And that picture is super cool. Check that out. Folks, it is $35, just go buy it. This was the first place where they were very publicly talking to people about how to DIY their legendary sock sweater design. There's a lot of great gems in here. And what's really interesting is in the reprint, they kept the original advertisements that were in the original publication, which I imagine was very hard to do from a rights perspective. This is the one that I get the most excited about. Go pick it up. A magazine curated by Maison Martin Margiela. Book number six. Mesa Martin Margiela 20, The Exhibition. Fairly similar to the Hermes Years book, this is one that is a lot about curating an exhibition for Mesa Martin Margiela. This also is written by Kat Debo, who is the, the curator for many things involving the Maison, and she is a brilliant writer. The essays that are in this one are also really, really good. There's also some exclusive photography in them. That's really the only reason you would get these in the first place, right? Is that the writing is valuable and there are photos that you cannot see elsewhere. This one, the writing is superbly excellent and there are definitely some really interesting photos in there. I found this one for a little over $100 and while I can't say enough good stuff about Kat Debo as far as her curation and her writing is concerned, I don't know if for a person who is not doing a full-on project about Mesa Martin Margiela, I don't really know if that's worth $100. Moving right along, Magazine B, Maison Margiela. No relation to A Magazine. This is one that I found for like $20 back a year ago when I first started the Margiela series. And since then it has shot up in price and it's now like $150. Very strange. The approach of this one is really different than all the other ones. It's almost like an extremely well-executed fanzine. There's interviews with major retailers that have carried the Maison throughout the years. Really, this is kind of a, an excellent single way to get introduced to the Maison in general. Some of this goes outside of the realm of what I consider to be part of my work with the Margiela series, but as far as a magazine doing this as a project, it's really well-executed. This doesn't feel like it's trying to give you some sort of objective 30,000-foot view of the on. It feels very personal and kind of like someone is making a magazine homage to the brand. It's really good. I like it a lot. Okay, final book. I'm not even really sure what to call this one. The, the actual box itself says Cream Maison Martin Margiela Edition 2008 issue number nine. As far as I can tell, Cream as a publisher doesn't exist anymore, but Either way, this book is absolutely incredible. The book contains about 450 pages of information and imagery, and then over 250 pages of blank pages to celebrate Martin Margiela making everything kind of white and leaving lots of blank space. But the actual images that are contained within this book are super duper important. A lot of these are from the original lookbooks that they gave out to the press and to buyers during the original runway shows themselves, and those images are incredibly difficult to find. There's a few of them that are floating around on like Tumblr and stuff, but having a large collection of these that are labeled and that have the words and stuff, that's, I mean, without going to Sotheby's and spending thousands of dollars, this is kind of the only place to get it. A lot of the imagery that's in here is the same stuff that Kanye briefly posted onto his Instagram a number of years ago when he went to Sotheby's and bought a bunch of the original Marzella catalogs from them for 
many thousands of dollars, I'm sure, and then posted just grainy phone pics of them to his Instagram and then deleted them and then never used Instagram again. This has a lot of that stuff in it. It also includes a really good interview that's been broken into multiple parts with Cream, where the Maison responds in their traditional format, which is via fax and using the pronoun we instead of I. This is the only one in this stack that I don't actually own. It was very, very generously lent to me by someone who happened to find it for $10 at an estate sale. Mind-blowing. But despite how incredible this book is and how much good imagery and information is actually in it, there is no way that I could afford to spend $700 on a single resource. You know who you are. Thank you so much for lending it to me. I've been incredibly careful with this book. <laughs> Outside of the more official books themselves, I also collect a lot of published material about the work of Margiela because a lot of that stuff can't be found on the internet. That includes larger textbook things like Fashion at the Edge, which I've recommended on this channel before. This is one of my favorite fashion books of all time. It is technically a fashion textbook, but the amount of info in here and the insightful analysis is un beatable. This stuff is absolutely brilliant. Caroline Evans knocked it out of the park with this book. I'm also slowly accumulating a collection of the Hermes magazines that were coming out during the time that Margiela was at the house. It's not a huge priority to me that I get every issue that came out during Martin's time there, but it's fun to grab them when I see them for a good price. And for a magazine that is put out by a brand that makes small leather goods, these are incredibly well-made magazines. I also try to grab academic journals about fashion theory when I can because Martin Margiela's work is often discussed and the ideas that are contained with Within these are usually very, very valuable. Fashion theory as a publication is really good. I also try to grab fashion projects when I'm able to. Again, no surprise that we see Cat Debo appearing here again. Cat Debo is the reason why many of these books are so incredibly in depth and so well executed. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this stuff, you really should go check out the Margiela series. I'm incredibly proud of that project and I can't wait to continue with the next video in it. You should also go join the Patreon if you really love this stuff. All love. I'll talk to y'all later.